Welcome here I've got Motorola H20 and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera promote at this device. So let's start by tapping on the camera button to open it and for now we are on standard photo mode. We have to change it by using the settings bar and just simply going to the right. Here we get access to more modes of this camera. We have photo and the video so let's focus on photo and now we can find the promote. So let's pick it. Here we are, this mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by yourself. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments with photography. So let me start with the settings bar. Let's go from the left. The first one option here allows us to control the focusing. Now we are on autofocus. By using this slider, we can change it to MF from manual one. And as you can see here, we can adjust it as we need. Also, when we want to go back to auto, we have to simply slide to the beginning of the slider to the left, so this is really easy. Now let's move to the second option, the white balance. Here we can manage the temperature of our picture in Kelvin degrees. By using this slider, we can uh, pick the balance between the warm and cold tones of our picture as you can see we have also the small icons above it that suggest us which light is good for which conditions we have when we want to take a photo so let's start with this one the tungsten light then we have white fluorescent light also the daylight and the cloudy light and of course to go back to auto white balance we have to easily slide to the beginning of the slider now let's tap to the center, to the next one option. Here we can manage the shooter speed, so the time of taking photo. We are on auto, but we can also pick the spectrum between 1 and 6000, so this is really short time, and it should be definitely better to objects, for example, in move to frozen them at the picture with a good light. When we go to the slider to the right, we can make it longer. The longest here is 32 seconds, it is uh, definitely better to objects that are stable. And of course, to go back to out wide balance, we have to simply slide to the beginning. Now let's move to the next one option, the ISO. Here we can manage the camera sensitivity to light. We can make it less sensitive from 100 or more sensitive by going to the right to 3 and 2000 of it. So this is wide spectrum and I think this is really professional like this kind of camera. Of course to go back to auto ISO we have to slide to the left. And let's move to the last one option here, the exposure compensation. As you can see we have different slider because the auto settings are at the beginning and this is kind of uh, not uh, at the beginning but at the center of course and this is kind of basic management of the light so when we go to the right we can make our photo more bright and when we go to the left we can make it more dark so uh, this is how to use this but i want to show you that if you want to use this basic light management you have to be on shooter speed on the auto because when we adjust this uh, manually together with iso the exposure compensation is locked together the shooter speed and the iso are light managing as you can see so this is more advanced option to to use this and we don't need this button and of course when we uh, want to go back to auto settings we don't have to separately use these buttons we can do it easily here together by tapping on this button from the right and now all of this goes back to auto we can start using this from the beginning i want to show you also one extra thing when we tap on this small button above the shutter we get access to more options about the camera we can manage most of them is also in standard photo mode but at the last position in the pro mode we have format we can pick jpeg rough and rough plus jpeg so also this is really pro feature here because the rough format is used by professional photographers to saving more details at the pictures and post producing them in graphic programs and now let's stay on jpeg let me use all of the settings to take a photo so maybe white fluorescent light the shooter speed here and the iso here as i said the exposure compensation now is locked because i use manually shooter speed and the iso 
trying to see my photo we have to tap to this right button that follows us straight to the gallery so it's not perfect but uh, this is only an example i suggest you to making experiments with all of the settings and just have a good fun thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up